everyone. It's so good to be with you again today. We have been learning all about the fruit of the Spirit. So far, we've learned about love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and today we're learning about faithfulness. Do you know who the most faithful person in the universe is? Jesus. Jesus is so faithful. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever, which means he never changes. He's always in a good mood. He always loves you and always keeps his promises. Isn't that great news, Bangani? Jesus has chosen you, boys and girls, to share his love with the world. So today, let's start with the game. Let's go. Hi, Busa. Hey, Nomsa, look what I found. Yeah, what is it? It's a message in a bottle. It washed up on the beach. How exciting. What does it say? Well, that's the trouble. I'm going to need everyone's help to figure it out. I'm sure we'd all love to help Busa. Please, can you show us the message? Yes, here it is. Boys and girls, it looks like some of these words are jumbled up. Do you think you can help work out what it is? Mm, okay. If mm, that looks like we, so mm -hmm. if we are not. Okay, what fruit of the spirit has two Fs? Maybe faithful? Yes. If yes. we are not faithful, he will still be... That looks like the first faithful, don't you think? Yes, it does, it does. Sure if it does. we are not faithful, he will still be faithful because he must be... Hmm, that's a tricky one. But, um, I think it must be true. Yes! If we are not faithful, he will still be faithful because he must be true to who he is. That's right. Look everyone, you worked it out. The answer is, if we are not faithful, he will still be faithful because he must be true to who he is. 2 Timothy 2 verse 13. What do you think it means? Well, I think that means that Jesus is the most faithful person in the universe. He will always be faithful to us, even when we make mistakes. That's wonderful news. Can you please tell me a Bible story about faithfulness? Of course, Busa. I'd love to. Today, we're learning about faithfulness. What does faithfulness mean? Faithfulness means having faith in God and putting it into action. It also means being trustworthy, that God can trust you, that others can trust you, and that you show your trust in God by being obedient to Him. You can also be faithful with a little or a lot. Both are important. That's awesome. Can you please give an example of someone who showed faithfulness in the Bible? Yes, of course. I was thinking of one of the disciples. Do you remember the names of the disciples? Yes. Um, Simon, also known as Peter, and his brother Andrew, James and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the other James and Thaddeus, Simon and Judas Iscariot. Well done, Busa. That's impressive. Today, I was thinking of a time when Peter the disciple had the fruit of faithfulness. This was at the beginning of Jesus' ministry, a couple of years before he went to the cross. So, one day, when Jesus was just starting to teach people about God, he went to a lake. The crowd was so big that they were pushing closer and closer to hear Jesus teaching. I can't see him. I can't hear him. Hey, man. Hey, hey. get out of my way. Show some respect, man. They were almost pressing against him. Jesus looked out on the lake. 
and so to boats. The fishermen on the boats looked like they were finished fishing and were trying to clean their nets after a long night of fishing. But that made Jesus think of a solution for the people to be able to hear the teaching a bit better. Oh, what was the solution? Jesus asked the fishermen if he could use their boat to preach from. If they pushed out a bit onto the water, then everyone would be able to see and hear him. And the fishermen very kindly agreed. So Jesus preached from the boat and everyone could see and hear what he was saying. When Jesus finished teaching the crowd about God, he told Peter to go a bit deeper and put down his nice clean nets into the water and try and fish again. Now, Peter was a bit worried about this. He said, Master, we worked all night and caught nothing, but at your word, I let down the nets. You see, Bosa, this is the faithfulness part of the story. Even though Peter didn't fully understand, he was faithful to obey Jesus' instruction. Peter took the nets and put them into the water and started to fish again. And guess what happened, Bosa? I don't know, but it sounds exciting. What happened? The fishermen and Peter caught a huge number of fish. Whoa, so many fish. Our nets are breaking. Help, help, somebody please help us. They caught so many fish that their nets were almost breaking. They had to call the other fishermen to come and help them. There were so many fish that both boats were full. When Peter saw this miracle, he realized that Jesus was special and that he was the savior. And it was then that Jesus chose Peter to be one of his disciples. Jesus chose Peter to look after his children. The Bible said this. Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. And when they had brought their boats to land, they left everything and followed him. Oh, wow, that is quite a story. I'm glad you liked it. You see, Busa, Peter had shown Jesus that he was faithful with the fish, so Jesus could trust him to look after something even more valuable, his people. That's what often happens with faithfulness. First, we are faithful with little things, and then we can be faithful with big things. Faithfulness with little things is just as important as being faithful with big things. God loves each one of you, and he has given you his Holy Spirit to live in your heart. And that can help you to be more like Jesus as you grow in your relationship with him. One way that we become more and more like Jesus is by being faithful. The Holy Spirit does his work in our hearts. So that's our bottom line today. Be faithful with whatever God gives you. Peter was faithful with fish, and then Jesus trusted him with looking after people. Boys and girls, you may need to be faithful with looking after your body, your time, your schoolwork, and God is going to give you more opportunities to be faithful in other ways by representing his love to the world. You are going to be real wave makers wherever God sends you, whether into business, education, leadership, medical care, media. God can use you to impact this world. Can you please pray for us, Bosa? Of course, let's pray. Father God, thank you so much that you love us. Please forgive us for when we have been unfaithful with the things you've given us. But thank you so much that you gave us your Holy Spirit to live inside us and make us more like Jesus. Please help us to be faithful with whatever you have placed in our hands. Thank you that you use ordinary people like Peter to impact the world with your love. And thank you that you chose us to share your love with the world because we are your children. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen.
Be faithful with whatever God gives you. If Jesus could choose Peter to share his love with the world, then I know that God has a special plan for each one of us to share his love with the world. And just like Peter, we need to be faithful with whatever that is, whether fish, homework, chores, showing up on time, or being a good friend. There are so many ways we can be faithful with what God has given us. That's it, Busa. You got it. And let's remember that our memory verse teaches us that it's Jesus who works in us to make us more like him and even helps us want to be like him and gives us the strength to do it. Let's say it together, everyone. Three, two, one, go. Yes, God is working in you to help you want to do what pleases him. Then he gives you the power to do it. Philippians 2 verse 13. Now everyone, may you have a wonderful week as you impact the world around you. Have fun making waves. Salani gashe bangani. Bye. You started a good work in me I know that you will complete it You will see it through it I know that you're still working on me And everything that you say you'll do, you'll do Cause I believe that You are faithful, oh You are faithful Cause I believe that you're working for my good Yes, you're committed From sunrise to sunset Till the sun comes back up again You're by my side You started a good work in me I know that you will complete it You will see it through, yeah I know that you're still working on Oh